Good morning, folks. Just wanted to show you a little nail this morning. I, I got these off eBay a week or two ago. They're a bit big now. They're size newborn carters. A whole lot of people have been asking me what size he is. That's really hard to say because he's quite long and skinny. So he sort of wears newborn. He, I mean, his uh, sleepers are newborn. And, um, yeah, this is very big on him. But my little Leo, when he was a baby, he ran about. Well, he didn't run about, obviously. He had shirts and shorts on. This is a little calf kid's number I treated myself to the other week. Well, I treated the babies to the other week. So anyway, here's Mr. Neil. He's just so expressive. He's just so beautiful. I can't bear to cover his face with a magnet or with a dummy. But I just love him. And everybody should have one of these. Julie Malloy babies. They're just not like any other ones. They're standing in the cot and um, Victoria who has her head attached and I had a new body made for her but the arms weren't long enough so I'm much happier with her on the new body. I changed little Laurie's body and I've got a new body for Tegan which I haven't got round to, sorry Emma, which I haven't got round to doing. And this is a little cocoon I got a while ago for them and Neil has been sleeping in this. He's not been very far from my bed. I just love him. He's so cute. And while I was shopping yesterday, I just thought I'd show you this. This hangs over the end of the crib. And then you... It's giraffe. With, I don't know, his tongue sticking out or something. And these funny things. If you had a real cot or a real crib, suppose you'd put it inside. But as some of you that know me, I'll know a funny story just to finish up. I was 13 when my little sister was born and obviously she went into a bedroom by herself and we weren't allowed to go in and disturb her or anything. And um, this was Leo's mummy. And we weren't allowed in and one day I just got an overwhelming urge to go in. My mum was out of the house. My dad was in the house babysitting, well looking after us, I mean I would have been a teenager and my brother wasn't far behind and then we have another sister in the middle but I just had an urge to go into Kerry and she had one of those pull down musical boxes, a wee small old one I suppose 70s, about square, about that size, a wee teddy bear or something on it and she had the cord wrapped around her neck and I screamed for my dad because it was like acrylic or nylon cord and I couldn't have got it and she, he just about got her in time. I couldn't get it off. And I don't know what made I'll never know what made me go in that day. But she wouldn't have been here if I hadn't. So, and then we wouldn't have had Kerry. We wouldn't have had Leo. And I wouldn't have had Neil. So. I think that'll be my next scheme. Malloy babies. I've just been watching Mindy's. Uh, she's had a couple. She's just got this kit. And she's, she's going to have all four of them, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out for more of them. But this, in the meantime, is absolutely, he's absolutely fantastic. He's gorgeous. Anyway, have a good day, folks. See you later. Bye.